Let's go and vote. I'll be showing you what voting looks like in New Zealand. Voting opened on October 2nd, but the actual election day is on October 14th, and that's when voting will also be closing at 7 p.m. sharp. So that is the difference between voting here and voting back home. Back home election day is when you vote, but in New Zealand, voting opens two weeks before the actual election day. And I guess it helps to, you know, reduce the amount of people that are struggling to vote on the real election day. When you enroll to vote, you'll be sent a pack like this one here that I have ripped apart like. <laughs> and it contains your voting card and your, they call it um, easy vote card. I'm just going to hide it here. And also the electoral candidate in your region and just details about when the voting opens and when it closes it contains need to know things about the election as well everything you need to know and contains a list of where you can go and vote your voting place in your area so this is for my electorate and then the party list so who are those going for whatever position in the general election this year it's been a hot one this year. It's been very hot. You know, the small thing. Because National and Labour are the two big parties in New Zealand. And when I came to New Zealand, power was just changing over from National to Labour. And I've only really experienced Labour. Now, National wants to take power back. It's just like PDP, ABC, you know, and all those kind of things. There are other parties as well, though. But yeah. So. This list here has a list of all the parties and the top two ones are Labour, which is the red one and the current ruling party. Well, the ruling party, not current ruling party. Then you have National, which is the strongest opponent for Labour. So both of them are the top two. And after that, you have New Zealand first, you have Maori, and then you have ACT. ACT is always, you know, opposing them. And then you have the other ones which are not as popular as those two. So top parties are Labour, National, New Zealand First, Māori, Te Pāti Māori, and ACT. Then you also have others that, funny enough, have people who want to vote as well. So this is a whole list and the party list. Then you choose whichever one you want. I looked much better than this in the morning. <laughs> this is what I looked like in the morning is what i look like now now i understand why parents have their children back from school looking really scruffy look at me adult looking like this anyway i was about to go and vote and it started raining so i'm sitting here and waiting for it to stop raining not every way is open for voting so that's why it's important to look at the time as well but on the election day which is on saturday everywhere will be open but i don't want to go on election day because we are celebrating our independence day on that day as well so and i don't want that queue plus i just anyway that's why i said let me go and vote early so voting here opens quite early two weeks before the actual election date unlike what we have in nigeria and some other places where the election day is when you vote but here you can vote two weeks before the election day i think it just helps to manage the crowd though and it also gives the party people you know an idea of how far whether they are winning the popularity and all those things which they have now and they can use it to forecast so on election day that is when things can change because you know people are not black and white all right enough of the chit chat let's go and vote i'm going to drive to my location my voting center and um i'll take you through what it looks like okay cannot they start i'll take you through what it looks like to vote here in new zealand Whoa! In my language, they call voting. We call voting feedback. <laughs> I've just arrived at my voting centre. There are about 41 places that you can vote in my electorate. That's Palmerston North. And out of that 41 places, 10 of them allow early voting, while the rest would only open up on the election day which is october 14 2023 and if i looked at that chart like flipped the back just flipped the back i would have saved myself five extra minutes one way <laughs> because 
the voting center there was a voting center close to me that i would have just driven three minutes i'm there but here i am in the city coming to vote anyway that's why you always have to read flip read everything so we are here at my voting center to vote let's see how it goes all you just need to vote is this your easy vote card which i'll be taking off now it comes in the pack i think everyone is here to vote it's lunch time so i decided to use the opportunity to vote yeah people are coming to vote here so this is what you need to vote That was quick. <laughs> Cameras are not allowed in there, so I'll just tell you what the process looks like. I just realized that I didn't pay for my parking. Hopefully, I don't have a ticket. <sighs> It's so windy, so I'm going to do that conversation in the car. And see, didn't scatter. It's the window, wind, 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 wind. Anyway, so once you get in, if you don't have your easy vote card but you had enrolled, it's not a problem. You can still vote, only that you have to check you first. So it will take longer, but if you have your easy vote card, it's quite easy. So the process is actually very easy and straightforward. You have to take your easy vote card to the voting place. But if you don't have your easy vote card, you can still vote, but they need to do some extra steps like checking that you have enrolled, which will make the process a little bit longer. But if there are no long, many people at your voting place, it's pretty fast. Because where I went, there were not a lot of people who were just come and go, come and go. Like I said, there are around 41 here in my electorate, Pamasana electorate. And out of that, 10 of them do early voting. Because what I'm doing now is early voting. The actual election day is tomorrow, so I'm 14. So the process was, I took my easy vote card, went in, they asked you, do you have your card? You tell them, yes, they'll tell you where to go. If you don't have your card, they'll tell you where to go. And when it is your turn, the process is here. When it is your turn, you go up to the person issuing the voting paper, that's what it's called, and give them your easy vote card. Then they will check the electoral roll and they'll ask you for your name. You have to confirm your name, it has to match. And they will, you know, indicate that you have gotten the voting paper they will give you the voting paper you will take that voting paper from the person that is issuing it and then you go to the private voting screen you would have seen all of these things in the tv you know that little cubicle where you are going to vote so now the voting paper is divided into two one two side by side is what they call the party vote and there's what they call the electoral vote the electoral vote is the one that has to do with your electorate so like now Palmerston North who do I want to be the Palmerston North mayor and also have number of seats in the council basically who do you want to be your mayor simple terms who is going to be your mayor then the party vote is the one that decides who is going to be the prime minister and have number of seats in the parliament that is just like high level summary of party vote if you notice on, on the voters card the party votes will just be the party while the electoral vote will have the person's name and the party and you are told where to tick it if you make an error in your vote, you, you, you have to go back and ask them. So if you make a mistake in your, your voting paper, you have to go back to the issuing officer and collect a new one. I don't know the process because I didn't make a mistake. So, but, the, if, but I think you can do that. Once you have decided who you want to vote, party vote as well as electoral vote, you will take, fold it and go and put it in the ballot paper. Ballot box, I mean. And apparently there are two types of ballot box. There's the general election one, which is the one that me I'm doing. And then there's a Maori election one. So, Abi, Maori electorate. So I think probably that is more regional. Or be rural. I don't know, Shao. Let me not say the one that I don't know. But there is general electorate and then there is Maori electorate. Palmerston electorate has its own box. You now put it inside that box and you have finished voting. Honestly, if there is no queue here, two three minutes two five minutes you finish your election it actually makes sense now because when you hear the advertisement it's like party vote labor party vote national party vote in the face party vote i was like which one be party vote party vote i thought it was just english you know party vote that's when you're voting party vote oh that's what i miss yeah when you're voting party vote 
Oh, makes sense now. Anyway, so that is the voting process. I have voted. Now I can argue proudly on social media and be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> all right. Now we go back to our hustle. That's all about New Zealand elections. So may the best man win. I don't have any dog in this game. I'm just wanting the best person to win because Ari bad. Anyone that wins has to really make policies that will favor us migrants. Of course, not forgetting the indigents and the citizens. So, yeah, because what I'm seeing now is quite like everyone is screaming, we need migrants, we need workers, we need workers. But then the laws that they're bringing out are not really allowing people to come to New Zealand, you know. Unlike what you have in Canada, for instance, you can move here without having a job. Before, you could move here without having a job, but now those things have changed. In a way, I don't really blame them because the population here is just one population in our state. In short, it's even smaller than the population in my, my state, in Nigeria, has more people than this whole country. So I can imagine the pressure on their economy. You can really understand that they have to try and balance it, honestly. They need people, yes, quite alright, they need people. But at the same time, their economy is quite small when you compare it to their big brother like Australia or bigger countries like, you know, Canada, US, UK, Germany, Denmark and all that. So it's a balance. But so far, so good. General election is happening tomorrow. And then after that, in the next one week, we should know who the winner is. Hopefully all these promises that they're promising because, ah! I used to think he's a Nigerian politician that knows how to promise things. These guys, what have they not promised? I like the tax one, Shao. Let me be honest. I like the tax one. Not the tax cut. The tax brackets change. Because um, I think that's happening in some places in Europe. Um, hopefully to get people to be interested in working. <laughs> but the rest... Ah. Me, ball. <sighs> so... Yeah, whoever wins, I hope that they have their part him and their party because it's men that are actually competing in this race. I hope that them and their party have good plans for us in New Zealand because Adi Bob and they should do something about median wage, minimum wage. Because, um, if they are doing something, Shari, if I want to be honest, when I came to New Zealand, it was $17 something, now it's 20 something dollars. So, yeah and plus recession cost of living anyway i'm ranting too much that is election in new zealand i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe to this channel and keep an eye out i'll be sharing a lot of new zealand content in the in the next period because summer is here summer is here we're outside bye comparing election in nigeria to election in new zealand these are the key differences